Hi there. Now, as you can see, the answer to this part of the question was that k equals 5. Now, if there was a problem with this, I'll take you slowly through the methods involved. The first thing you need to do is sketch a diagram. And it's a very standard type of diagram. It will look something like this. We've got our particles P and Q. We're told that they've got masses of M and Km, respectively. We're also told that they're moving in opposite directions before they collide. So that means that you can see their directions given by the arrows here. We're told that the speed of P is 5U and the speed of Q is U. Now when they collide, they then reverse direction and they end up going at half the speed that they were originally going with. So I've marked that in for P as 5U over 2 and for Q as U over 2. Now to do this type of question, it's very typical conservation of linear momentum question. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with the conservation of linear momentum. You should be aware that it is that the total momentum before impact equals the total momentum after impact, providing no external forces act on the system. And they don't in a situation like this. So what you need to do next is set up a positive sense. It doesn't matter which way you go, whether you go to the right or to the left. And I would certainly experiment both ways, actually, just for further practice. You should end up with k equaling 5. I'm going to set my positive sense towards the right here. So do try going to the left anyway, if you haven't done so. So remember, momentum is mass times velocity. So we look at the total momentum before impact, and so that's going to be the mass of P, which we can see is M, and we multiply that by its velocity. Its speed is 5u, it's in the positive sense, so its velocity will be 5u. So mass times velocity there. Then to this we add the momentum of Q. Here its mass is km, so put km in. We see that its speed is u, but it's going in the opposite sense to what we've got here. So its velocity will be negative u. So it would be its mass times its velocity, which will be minus u. So that's the total momentum before impact. Now we need to equal that to the total momentum after impact. So starting with P again, its mass is m. The speed is 5u over 2, but you can see it's going to the left in the opposite sense of my plus direction. So its velocity will be negative 5u over 2. Okay, And then we add the momentum of q, so the mass is km, and we multiply that by its velocity. Speed is u over 2 to the right, so its velocity will be positive u over 2. So it's just a question of solving this equation now and figuring out what k is. Noticing that there's m in every term and also a u in every term, I could cancel those out. And if I do, then this is what you get. You end up with 5 minus k equals minus 5 over 2 plus k over 2. And then I've just multiplied throughout by 2 to give me 10 minus 2k equals minus 5 plus k. And then by rearranging this equation, you end up with k equaling 5. So as I said earlier, do try this if you haven't already, in going to the left as your positive sense. Check out that you can still get k equals 5. So I hope that gives you some understanding on how to do that, just in case it caused any problems. Okay?